Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. So today we're going to be looking at three different seven figure drop shipping stores and the kind of things we can learn from them. So today we're going to be looking at what their best selling products are, what their Facebook pages look like, what products they're currently advertising on Facebook, what kind of profit margins they're working on. So if you're at that point where you're struggling to come up with product ideas, then this video is really going to help you out. Before we jump into it though, I just want to very quickly mention as always in every single video, I give away a free one to one call with me. So a chance for me and you then to have a chat on Skype or Zoom and you can ask me whatever you want. So we could go through certain products on AliExpress, I could review your store, whatever it is you need help with then, that's exactly what I'm there for. So for your chance then to win that, the competitions are 100% random. All you simply have to do is like this video and leave a comment down below and then the winner will be announced in my next video. If you commented on my previous video then that I posted on Monday, just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced. And with that being said then guys, thanks again for tuning in i hope you enjoyed the video and let's get straight into it so this is the first store then guys it's called mymusthaves.shop i found it on the exchange marketplace which is basically where people go to sell their shopify stores and just to give you some background information into this particular store then if we go down to the performance all of these numbers are verified by shopify so they're all legit they're not made up um, the average monthly revenue of about forty thousand dollars which is pretty decent with a total revenue of just over one million dollars if we scroll down, it also gives you total traffic amongst other different numbers. And we can see then that they were generating those sales by running Google and Facebook ads, which they were spending approximately $8,000 per month. So if you're watching this video, then the chances are they're running the exact same business model as me and you. So with that being said, then I just want to quickly mention their profit, which is $11,000 a month, which is very good actually for a dropshipping business that most businesses typically run on single figures. So anyway, that's enough background information and let's actually get into the practical information that we can use ourselves and implement into our own stores so this is the website then as you can see it's pretty clean it looks pretty good um, it's pretty basic as well when it comes to dropshipping, so many people try and overcomplicate things when in reality, simple usually works the best. So I'm just gonna take the Commerce Inspector tool here. It's gonna tell me the theme they're using, which is called Motion. So if you like the look of this theme, you can now go out there, get the same theme and replicate something similar. But what we're interested in then is their best selling products because these are gonna be the products that potentially could make us some money as well. Just to go back as well, one thing I forgot to mention is that if you look at these guys revenue it's been fairly consistent over the course of the last pretty much 12 months which is a good sign because what that means is that when we have a look at their best selling products these are actually selling well today last week last month these are current products that are doing and performing well on google and facebook and therefore if they can sell them on google and facebook today and make money then essentially there's no reason why we can't do the same as well as we can see from these products then that a lot of their best sellers are these kind of three D LED holographic um, different designs so obviously they're all kind of music themed and these actually featured in one of my product videos that I did about six months ago where I said they were going to be really popular and as we can see these guys are obviously making some decent money um, from these exact products with their best seller then being this marble construction set so on average then they're selling these holographic products for around 26 27 pounds some of the bigger ones I assume are more expensive so 35 36 and if we just have a look at the kind of cost of these on AliExpress we can see they range from kind of like 10 pounds up to 15 pounds and if we minus this across then from the product cost these guys are making anywhere upwards of 20 pound plus per product per order minus the facebook ad cost which is a pretty good margin typically when i pick any products i like to leave at least 10 pound in there for the cost per purchase on facebook if not more if i can so that's their site then that's their best selling products if we just have a look at their facebook page i always like to look at this because this gives you information into what kinds of content you want to put on your page you don't just want to put buy this buy this buy this because then people have no reason to follow you when it comes to building a social media following you've got to provide value for free to people to gain that loyal following and then when you do finally post buy this particular product then you've gained that following you've gained that relationship and you're more likely to make those organic sales if we just have a quick scroll through then we can see if we just go to posts 
One thing that strikes me is the fact that a lot of these posts aren't in English, which tells me this isn't an English store. And this was actually something I touched on again in, I've done it in a couple of videos actually previously mentioning that the kind of European market, so places like Sweden, Germany, France, Denmark, um, Iceland even, a lot of these countries when it comes to marketing on Facebook is is untapped in comparison to the UK, in comparison to the US. I was doing some research the other day and if you take, if you combine all of the audio, all of the orders, all of the dropshipping orders from the whole world and compare them against the US alone, the US is still bigger. So that just gives you an illustration into how, or how much more saturated and competitive the US market is versus any other country. Anyway, with that being said, then let's move on to store number two, which is a really good one. I think you're going to enjoy this. And before we actually jump into the store, I want to show you some background information. This is a website called Similar Web. You can also get a chrome extension and it's really good for finding out certain pieces of information so number one then we can see these guys average about 190 200,000 visits per month so these guys are easily pushing seven figures every single year but what i really like as well is that you can actually see where that traffic is coming from as well and we can see that it's dominated by the us so we know then that once we've found their best selling products we also know what countries want to buy them so let's head over to their website then. We'll go back to the homepage so you can see it. And what struck me about this was it actually looked like a theme called the Brooklyn theme, which was actually a free one. But if we just check out what it's actually called, it's called Humble Temporary. So I'm guessing this is some sort of custom theme that they've paid somebody to design for them. But we're not interested in that. What we're interested in is their best-selling products. Here we are then at their best-selling products. To give you an idea of how much profit they're making per order, I've also gone and found these two products on AliExpress as well. So we've probably all seen these container lids before. They're selling them for $20. If we just go across to AliExpress, in fact, let's convert this into dollars as well, just so we get an accurate representation we can see that these container lids, you can buy them for like $2. So that's a 10X on what it's actually costing these guys. So again, another pretty healthy profit margin. And same thing for the microscope camera then. So these guys are selling it at $40. And if we just head across to AliExpress, you can buy it for 10 pounds, 13 pounds, which is approximately 16, $17. So again, they're leaving at least $20 cost per purchase in there for their Facebook ad cost. So that's their best selling products then. If we head across to their Facebook page, again just to kind of look at the kind of things and content they're posting because you should always do your background information and one of the biggest questions I get asked especially from people in my ecom academy is what kind of content should I post on my page uh, so this is why it's always a good exercise to do is to actually look at your competitors and replicate something similar so if we in fact if we have a look at their Facebook ads let's get rid of that tab and head over to the ad library then we can see all the different kind of products that they're currently advertising. I've got this set to all, so this is every single country they're currently advertising in. And here we are then. So as we can see, these are the actual ads for these container lids. And this guys is really, really, really valuable information because we found a store that we know they're getting over 150,000 visits every single month. There's no way they're driving that traffic without spending money on ads. And there's no money, there's no way they're going to be spending money on ads unless it's profitable. We know exactly what their best selling product is and what they sell that product at, what they buy it at. And we know exactly how they advertise that particular product as well. So we've got everything in front of us. So if you are struggling for a product to sell, then you've got the whole setup right in front of you now in this video. Moving on to the third and final store then guys, we have HigoShop.com. You might have already heard of it before, but it's a great example of how general stores can still work. Just to give you some background information on these then, we can see that these guys average over 200,000 visits per month. So they're quite considerable in terms of size. We can see the traffic by countries. And what's actually interesting here is their number one country is Zambia. So it just goes to show that if you think outside the box and find something that really works, then it does necessarily have you don't have to go with the grain of what everybody's saying you don't just have to stick with the US UK Canada and Australia think outside the box and try and find some other countries that not many people are advertising in so that's the background info if we have a look at their shop I've gone straight to the best sellers because 
that's what we're interested in most. And again, I've also found their top three bestsellers on AliExpress. So you can see what kind of margins these guys are working on. So first of all, then their very bestseller, the quick makeup bag, they're selling for 20 pounds. If we have a look on AliExpress, you can see you can source that very same bag. I mean, this one's got different designs, but again, that's something you could actually play into your ads and perhaps run a carousel ad just to advertise all the different designs. But anyway, they're paying approximately two pounds. So again, a 10X margin, which is pretty healthy. Um, and again, it leaves that space in there for a very decent and Facebook cost per purchase. Next up, again, another product that actually featured in one of my product videos. You've probably seen it before, but these guys are obviously making some decent money selling this product, otherwise it wouldn't be in their best sellers. They're selling it for 20 pounds and on AliExpress, you can buy the very same product for anywhere between kind of like five and 15 pounds, depending on obviously what size you go for. Moving on to the third product then, which is one I quite like myself because when it comes to advertising a product like this, I think it'd be really easy to do if you could get say three or four of your friends in a room with a couple of these guns each all shooting each other. That's the kind of thing that people would see. And because there's a lot of emotion and people having a good time in the video, it is the kind of thing that would catch somebody's eye and make somebody want to buy this product. Plus, nobody's going to buy one of these things. Nobody's going to buy this so they can have it themselves to shoot random people or whatever. They're going to buy two so they can have wars with their friends, with their mates. So it lends itself to bundle orders and offering discounts if somebody buys, say, four or five or six of these things. Anyway, they're charging £10.51 per unit. If we have a look on AliExpress, you can see you can buy the exact same cap gun for about £1.50, which isn't a great margin, to be honest. But like I said, these guys are probably banking on the fact that somebody's going to buy two, three, four, five, even six of these things. So anyway, that's their top three best selling products. If we just head across to the Facebook ad library and have a look at the kind of products that they're selling right now. Again, if these guys are selling these products today, advertising them today, making money today, then there's no reason why we can't take these products, put them on our store um, and start making some money too. We've got the exact Facebook ad copy that these guys are using. One thing to note across all of these stores and the ads we've looked at is they're all original ads. These guys aren't just chopping up videos from AliExpress or other Facebook users. They're probably Probably got a team of actors or the same company they ship their products to that make really cool fun and quirky ads that as you can see they always feature somebody in the ad smiling having a good time using the product and that's always just the best way to advertise something so just to take a quick scroll through then I'm not going to bore you too much you guys can obviously head across to the Facebook ad library put Hygo shop in um, and have a look at all these ads yourselves so with all that being said then guys um, you've got pretty much everything in front of you here you've got the products the ads the product pages the profit margins where to source it from um, so let me know if you enjoyed this video or not I really appreciate you guys watching got loads of more content planned as well coming very soon one of those videos is a 24 hour Shopify challenge where I'm going to start recording the video at midnight and see if I can get a um, the very first sale for a brand new store um, within 24 hours. So if you do want to see the content, all the new content I've got planned, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And of course, if you want to be entered in for that chance to win a one-to-one -one call, then make sure you leave a comment below. And with that being said then guys, if you're not interested in the announcement, then thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. However, if you commented on my previous video, then let's get into announcing the winner. So here we are then on the previous one, the three biggest mistakes beginners make with Facebook ads. Um, I'm just going to take the US URL, head over to the random comment picker, get YouTube comments, and let's get rid of all of these ads, uh, get YouTube comments, and just start the competition. So the winner of the previous video then, guys, is Colin Miller. Thank you very much for your comment, Colin. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit me up on Instagram then. All the links are in the video description below um, and we can get that call arranged. And guys, if you just want to get straight down to business and book a call with me, you can do so. Just make sure you check out the links in the description below. With all that being said then guys, thank you very much again for tuning in. I really do hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.